Uh, so if we go up here, this leads out into the back, which I didn't want to leave. No, why does it keep doing that? There we go. So let's uh, take a look. We are behind the house now, and what appears to be a small fenced-in yard. To the rear of the garden is a little shed. All right. Let's see. Climb tree. Oh, tree. You shimmy up the tree, find lots of branches and leaves and stuff, and shimmy down again. Good exercise, huh? <laughs> well, this isn't Quest for Glory, so I'm not going to get any uh, climbing points for that. Let's just ignore that and see what's in here. Door. Open door. Door appears to be locked with a combination lock. What's the combination? Hmm, well, we did see a number. What happens if we do the wrong number? Nope. Just nothing. So, of course, it's 333, like we saw. Bingo, the door opens. Okay. So, what is in here? In the shed. The shed seems to have fallen into, into disuse and is pretty much full of garbage, either broken and rusted pieces. You are just on the point of leaving when you notice an oil can sitting on a shelf. We need that. Take oil can. Pick the oil can up, okay? Okay. And that's all we needed in there. But we have yet to find Penelope. We've searched all the rooms in the house. So the one room we hadn't been able to get a good look at is the one with that uh, killer dog. So uh, let me set up a save here and let's see if we can't do something about it. So throw. So type this in first because it doesn't pause the game. Oh, come on. <laughs> throw. Chop. So yeah, type that in first because the game does not pause when you start typing. Go in. There you go. Throw the chop. And the doggy will be happy over there. Seems to have caught the dog's attention. It looks like he's going to be rather busy for a while. That's good. Now we can take a look in the room. This is a pretty empty looking room adjoining the kitchen. The only thing of any interest that immediately catches your eye is a rather large and ugly looking dog. Can we pet the dog? Pet dog. Apparently I hear you that doesn't... Oh, can't do anything. Oh well. Hmm. You roam around the hole and feel something soft and slightly moist. Phew, a medium-sized pile of mouse droppings. Yum. Nothing in there. So why is the dog guarding this room? Lift the rug, and there is a trap door. All right. Door. That door appears to be bolted shut. All right, undo bolt. Not close enough. Oh. Undo bolt. That's why your best efforts to bolt refuses to budge. Hmm. Use oil can on bolt, and ta-da! Apparently, oh, what? Oil bolt. There we go. Do bolt. Open trap door. You casually throw the mask away since you won't be needing it anymore. All right. Well, I hope not. So now uh, we are in the basement, and this is where things start getting really dangerous. It starts kind of turning into an action game, though not quite so much. Who keeps boulders in their basement anyway? You're below the house now. The walls appear to be partly hewn out of rock. To the right of the basement is a large, extremely heavy-looking door. He muffles sounds of someone sobbing. Uh-oh. Look. Mm. Looking through the door, you can make out your beloved Penelope's tear-streaked face. So let's uh, talk to her. Penelope last can't speak since she's gagged. All right, open door. Are you kidding? Well, I suppose you had to try. Needless to say, the door is locked. Well, confound it. So, what are we going to do? Let's see if I can remember where this... Oh, oh, whoa, okay. <laughs> so, let's uh, save here, because there's a little hidden passage there. Go in here. There are some bats around here. Gotcha. 
Oh dear, it seems to have you seem to have wandered a bit too close to one of the vampire bats. Looks like it's curtains for you now. Oh, of course it's for you. Now you'll never be able to rescue Penelope. Hmm. So what do we do about these bats? Well, of course we have that whistle. So type in blue whistle. Of course this y this part can be hard because you still have to dodge the bats no matter what. But uh blow the whistle. Ah. And they go a lot slower. Hey, what do you know? You appear to confuse the bat's sense of direction. It looks like something to do with their sonar-like hearing. Let's take a look. You're in a cave full of bats. All right. Yeah, if they touch you, you'll still be dead. Okay, this part is hard. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, jeez. Well, that sucks. I should have saved right there. Okay, get behind this rock. There we go. So the mummy will pretty much go exactly, uh... Oh, I didn't even do that in time, did I? Uh, the mummy will go and follow you in a straight line to where you are, but if there's a rock in the way, it can't get to you. So let's... Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Oh, and the mummy's still there. Okay, this is... <laughs> let's try this again. Wow, Curtis, you have landed yourself in the e clutches of the evil mummy. Well, since it's curtains for you, you'll never be able to rescue your sweetheart. So let's try this again. You want to get behind this rock right here. Before the mummy comes out. There we go. Oh, let's see if I can remember how to do this. Oh, ah. Uh. Oh, that actually worked out. I didn't mean to do it like that. There's actually a better way, but, um... Now the mummy's stuck behind that rock, so let me save again. Yeah, your goal is to get the mummy stuck behind the rock over there. And if you go in a straight line, it'll still try to go directly to the right, but it can't get to you. But luckily there's money, and you need to get this, so you need to work your way around the mummy enough to get that, and then exit where the mummy came from. Wow, small fortune in gold. Take money. Picked up the gold, okay? And just hurry up straight up here before the mummy gets to you. What is going on here? You are now in a large open cavern. There's a small underground lake here at the far side of which is some sort of jetty and a very old looking man who appears to be just sitting on the jetty fishing. To the far right, at the back of the cavern, you see a tunnel. Hmm, so let's see. There's a boat here. We can use that to get across. Can we just go in the water? No? Swim. Be a lot better off in the boat, my friend. Alright. For the boat has a hole in the bottom. Unless you can plug it with something, this boat will surely sink before you get to the other shore. How is it floating if it has a hole? Tight rope. Rope is not tight too tightly. You are, alas, unable to untie it despite your best efforts. Well, luckily we have that pen knife. The boat is now floating free. And of course we can use bung on a hole. Nothing better than ramming a bung right into its hole. Oh. Plug hole. Plug hole with bung. So if you're ever wondering what a bung hole is or what a bung is, there you go. Use boat. Get in boat. Row boat. Ah. <sighs> Steer boat. Use boat. What am I supposed to do? Um. Ride boat. Cross lake. One second. Okay, I had to look up the exact phrasing of this. It sucks when you know exactly what to do. But the uh, parser just isn't cooperating with you. Push boat. There you go. That's what you're supposed to do. Alright. Exit boat. Get out. <sighs> Talk. Old man seems about to speak. 
Ah, welcome to my lake, my fine young friend. I've been waiting for you. I'm well aware of your quest, and I would hasten you on your way. However, before I let you pass, I must satisfy myself that you have experience to handle the dangers that lurk through yonder passage. Dude, I've already handled the majority of the dangers in this cave. There's, like, nothing left in this game, practically. To this end, you will permit me to test your mettle with a few questions, the answers to which will come readily to the lips of any seasoned adventurer. Be warned, however, that I can only accept your first answer. The old man clears his throat and asks, Who was the first name of the hero in The Hobbit? That, of course, would be... What happens if I give a wrong answer? Uh, Link. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Since you have failed to answer my questions, I hereby doom you to float forever on my lake. Now, I have to say, as a kid, I really didn't like this part of the game, because it feels like th these questions, like, there shouldn't be questions about real life, and they get kind of more ridiculous as it goes, but um, it seems like if it's going to ask you questions, it should ask you questions, the answers to which you can find within the game itself, not in real life. I mean, it's not as bad as freaking Mega Man Legends 2, where you have to answer a hundred questions about real-life crap in a row. Yikes. But, yeah, I remember as a kid, I actually had to go and ask my parents, you know, these questions for the answers, because uh, at the time, I had not read The Hobbit yet. I read it a little bit later. It's such, such a good book. Anyway, of course, we know that is Bilbo. Correct. And the next question is... Where does Aslan live? Hint, not in a wardrobe. So, of course, that's Narnia. So, we'll ask you different uh, things about uh, fictional worlds. Correct. And the next question is Who invented Count Dracula? Who invented? Really, that's the word you're going to use? Anyway, that is, of course, Brom Stoker. Correct. And the next question is What should you do with the Pangalactic Gargle Blaster? <laughs> oh. I think this is a uh, Hitchhiker's Guide reference, so I'm not completely sure. It's been forever since I've read those books. But you want to drink it. And now a riddle. What's the name of the only mammal that can't fly? That can fly? That is man. Jeez, this is a hard one. It's nearly there. Just two more to go. What was the name of Roy Rogers' dog? Bullet. And lastly, are you sure you want to rescue Penelope? Yes. I think, like, in the original game, the question is actually, is did you res register this shareware? But I, th I guess they kind of change it in the uh, when you ha play it on Scumsoft. Wonderful, that thou art truly a noble and wise adventurer. Go in peace, my friend, and good luck in thy mission. Alright, get out. And now we can go. So let's uh, throw down another save here before I go. And we are almost done. Like I said, it's a short game. Hello. I have a sumo wrestler in our way. It's just a palette swap of Igor, obviously, but okay. You arrived in a passage with a room at the end, and there's a large guard at the end who appears to be standing outside a kind of jail. Wait, behind the guard you can make out a familiar shape. Yes, it's Penelope being held prisoner. So let's go get her. Ah, uh, dude. Dude. Push, man. Kill, man? Now you really should curb those violent tendencies. Talk, man. He doesn't understand you. Yeah, there's only one thing to do, only one thing we have not used. Give money to man. Hand over one coin for your little bag of golden coins. Oh, clever, not using all of it makes a gruff noise, which you assume was a thank you, and steps aside, allowing you to pass. Nearly there, Hugo. Yeah, I remember that guy saying about all the dangers that lie ahead? That was it. And we're in here. Congratulations! You are so glad you have rescued Penelope, you dance for joy. Yay, a full score. After cutting her ropes with your penknife, you open the bolts of the jail door and find yourself back in the basement. From here, you trip hand in hand. Oh, you trip hand in hand up the basement stairs, past the ferocious doggy through the kitchen and out the front door to freedom, and live happily ever after. Why is Penelope in shadows like that? <laughs> Goodbye, so I guess you get married, and that's nice. Of course, the story is not over. There is still Hugo 2, who done it, which will be coming up next. 
And I'll just put it all in that one playlist as if it's one game. I'm probably going to have to split this into two videos, but that's okay. Goodbye. You and Penelope, we hope you like our adventure and hope to see you very soon in Hugo's Mystery Adventure and Hugo's Amazon Adventure. Yeah, I guess this guy had already planned for everything. They're just like the game, but bigger and better. Very slightly bigger and better. All three games includes all three games plus the 30 page answer book. Alright. Thank you, David B. P. Gray. And that's the end of the game. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.